Speaking of Mars on America, Ben Carson's still running for president. And um, he was on the Bill O'Reilly program. The Factor with Bill O'Reilly. Look, all right? I'm Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> <laughs> Every, yeah, man. If my family had stayed in Long Island, I would have grown up around a lot more Bill O'Reilly types. Um, man who spends his living in an air-conditioned studio getting makeup put on him, talking like he's some type of macho dude, and uh, still doing his thing. The best objective TV talent on Fox News, in my opinion, um, as well as being a big fan of falafels. <clears throat> Anyways, Bill O'Reilly on The Factor. Head on Ben Carson to get real. And uh, as you know, Ben Carson is nothing if not keeping it real. Let's take a listen. But you've cut your staff in half. Is that a fact, by the way? I know that's been reported, but is that a fact? You've cut your staff down? Well, it's not quite in half, but we have way more people than we needed. Uh, a lot of duplication going on. And uh, the people who were running the campaign before we changed things around uh, clearly didn't know what they were doing financially. So uh, that has changed dramatically. Uh, we have a much more efficient uh, system now. So things like the report in the Washington Post yesterday that says we spend more uh, per vote than anybody else, you know, that's taken into account the frivolous spending that was going on before we made the change. Right. No, okay, so no. next, uh, Nevada doesn't really matter for you uh, tomorrow night, but, but next Tuesday does, a week from tomorrow. Um, you know, Doc, I got to tell you, I, I just don't think you're going to do it. Um, it's not you either. It's history. It's, it's, it's almost like Governor Bush in the well, sense that it was just a wrong yeah. time for Governor yeah, Bush man. up against the and, Colossus. And that may be. Yeah, yeah. maybe. So it may it, be, but remember, Bill, Bill Clinton didn't win anything until the sixth contest. No. And yeah, then yeah, not but again you got a special circumstance this year, and you know it with Trump. I mean, you got a very special circumstance there. It's almost like the Obama circumstance. That was very special as well. Mm. So my question is, if you don't do well on Super Tuesday, you have to pack it in. Is there someone in mind, you don't have to tell me tonight, I don't think it's fair for you to do that, but is there someone in mind that you would get behind? Because you are very well respected in this country among Republicans and, and many Democrats as well. No. I mean, you may not win, but they still like you and they still respect what you stand for. Do you have somebody in mind that you would go for? Well, certainly, if I were going to do that, I'd, I'd, I'd want to sit down and talk with, uh, with whoever that was. <laughs> you know, I can see myself, uh, I, I know that if I'm not the candidate, I will support whoever the candidate is. Nah. But, no you know, you, you, but your support in the, in the primaries, if you don't uh, continue after Super Tuesday, would be important to any candidate. You see what I'm saying to you? Because you're so well respected. Uh, no, I, 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 I understand what you're saying. I'm just not willing to, to, to make that commitment without having uh, a series of conversations, that's all. Okay. And, uh, you know, again, I, I want to emphasize this uh, whole uh, scenario has been based on personality and fear mm -hmm. and anger. At some point, we actually start dealing with the facts. We actually start dealing nope. with the solutions. <laughs> And when that happens, I think you may see a fairly dramatic change. Yeah, this is a very no, unusual year. It's not unlike any other. And the stakes are extremely high. We're at the precipice. And if we make the wrong decisions this time, we may have done our children and our grandchildren in. All right. <laughs> Say, baby, put down that pipe and get my pipe up. <laughs> uh, Bill O'Reilly was actually really gentle and caressing with him. Um, picture... An alternative world where Ben Carson is where where we can actually glean something about Ben, Car about ben Carson who I will admit even for me as a not shabby Ben Carson impressionist is actually a total mystery what if the fact that Ben Carson's campaign has essentially ran itself as one giant pyramid scheme where they exploit gullible small-time donors in the heartland and then use vastly inflated budgets to pay campaign staffers who also run consulting firms and direct mail firms with money raised by the campaign. 
in this kind of incredible, beautiful double dealing that apparently Ben Carson just now with let's not forget. I mean, I know the guy appears to basically be catatonic when he's not off on some bizarre conspiracy rant. He is a neurosurgeon. He is a Yale graduate. He is a self-made man. So it, it is shocking, again, even though he appears to have some type of brain damage or something, <laughs> that he wouldn't get that this whole campaign was ran like a giant money-making scheme. Picture an alternative scenario where Ben Carson says to Bill O'Reilly, I mean, look, Bill, you can't knock the hustle, okay? I'm making stupid money off of this venture. And everywhere we go, we're polling at 2%. And I started doing an experiment in the debates where I started going, see, I studied what procedures seizures look like in medical school. And I was actually doing an impression of someone who was pre-seizure in the debates. And then I would come to me and I would say, literally, I would quote Facebook memes of fake quotes. And some of these people still were donating me money, which I was making. It was kind of a little experiment in addition to making a hell of a lot of bank, if I'm being honest about. Now, who am I going to endorse? Look, I mean, I've been really unimpressed with the field, uh, generally. I think Bernie Sanders is speaking to the idealism of young people, which I appreciate. But I think Hillary Clinton is a steady pair of hands uh, in, a, in an uncertain world. But uh, as long as I can keep making this money, I'm going to keep doing it. Play, play on. Dr. Carson, uh, do you consider it um, ethical uh, as a free market capitalist uh, like yourself, to use the political process to make money? Uh, look, I would consider it unethical to not pick, take people's money that are this stupid. <laughs> I mean, seriously. It's not, you know, when you take a lollipop from a baby, the baby isn't fully developed yet, but you should see some of these mouth-breathing fools <laughs> that come out of Iowa. I could just say, Sol you know, I looked up Saul Alinsky. He actually just helped some people get better housing conditions in Chicago or something. And these idiots think that he's part of some UN conspiracy or something. I don't know how people do it. There's so much ca cash money. That's maybe finally the truth about Ben Carson. Maybe he really is just the most cynical, laid-back scam artist in the history of the world. Look at Mike Huckabee out there. He's trying to hustle grapefruits or something. I've been making money off of tech supplements, stupid money, before you even know what it is. I'm about to make millions off of this campaign, and I've only gotten the votes of a handful of infomercial night viewers. You crazy, Bill? You think I'm going to drop out? Donald Trump's going to pick me. More money. Boom.